remembering. Today is the 11 year anniversary of my dad getting his metaphorical wings. It was 5.46 p.m. when his heart stopped, 15 minutes after his ch uh, last breath. We were all there. We made the hard decision a few days prior to remove him from life support and mom was at wit's end. We got to the hospital and the medical staff took him off of the drugs that kept him sedated and he came to. We spent an hour or so telling stories, some of his favorites, like when he was young and his mother who worked at the hospital in town had him drive the nuns from the hospital to a retreat somewhere. It was in his, I want to say, 54 Ford convertible. Was it a Ford or was it a Chevy? I don't recall. This image of a handsome young man with a car full of nuns, top down, the convertible, not the nuns, speeding down a country road with their habits flapping wildly behind them, having a blast, a time of their lives. Of course, there were fishing stories and tales of shenanigans with Fat Jack and George. My dad could be stoic, but he was fun. Everybody liked him. And he was a lovable, lovable man. He would give his shirt off his back for someone in need. Hell, before I was born, he had rushed into a burning house on his way home from work to save a kid. Unfortunately, he did not save the parents. He is everything I strive to be. He could fix anything and showed me how to paint in oils when I was in first grade. I know where I get this from. He loved his happy hour and hanging out at the bar. It just was a part of him. A place to unwind, tell stories with his friends. After a while, the palliative care doctor and nurses came in. They sedated him again. He knew what was coming. He was afraid. He was resigned that his long illness was no longer curable. He went down quickly after the drugs were given to him. Then they took him off life support and we watched. We waited, we continued to tell stories, tried to be upbeat and waited some more. It was about another hour before his last breath, and then another 15 minutes before his heart stopped. We stuck around for an hour or so after, hugging, telling more stories, and hugging some more. Finally, mom had to leave since her ride was heading home. Her sister was also heading to her home to stay with her. The rest of us went to the bar close by, one of my regular spots. And we toasted the old man, Stormin' Norman. 
probably a few too many times. Action item today, missing my dad and nothing else. Can't even call mom. <laughs>